Hello ladies and gentlemen and fellow Pokey people, Rainy Plays here. And today I have part six, I think, of Pokemon Gold version. I just wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go in Slowpoke Cave and then fight the Azalea Town gym. Um, but before I get started, I do wanna say um I haven't been posting videos the last couple days because I'm going through some family stuff at the moment and as well as the fact that um, the last time I was starting to trying to record this video, what ended up happening is that the battery died on the Game Boy. And it was at the worst time as I was saving in the game, the battery died and the Game Boy died as the middle of I was saving. So I turned it back on, my file was completely gone. So what did I do? I grinded my butt off to get back to where I was really quickly today and so luckily it wasn't too long luckily um from now on i'm gonna keep an eye on the battery <clears throat> but yes we saved it so we're gonna go straight into mr kurt's house uh, mr kurt is the guy who builds pokeballs and we'll find out as we go along here so hmm who are you ready plays eh you want me to make some balls sorry but that'll have to wait do you know team rocket ah don't worry i'll tell you anyhow Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke's tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a piss, give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. So Kurt is going to be so nice to Slowpoke. I appreciate him doing nice work for him. Let's see, who do you got here? Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Oh, we got to make sure we get Grandpa back. Get him reunited with his granddaughter. I'm going to go check out that bush. See what we got back here. So we have a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, it's a white apricorn. Obtain the white apricorn. Nice. So we have a white apricorn. I'm sure this is what we use to make Pokeballs in this game. So we'll see as we go <clears throat> later. But now we have to go straight to Slowpoke Cave. Um... It'll be fun. And if you hear any screaming or anything, it's just an excited cousin playing video games in the other room. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Kurt, hey there, Rennie Plays. The guards up top took off when I shouted at them, but then I took a stumble down the well. I slammed hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Rennie Plays, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Will do, sir. We'll do, Mr. Kurt. Let's take a look. We have Pidgey, Quilava, Geodude, and Popcorn Pop. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if anything is different level as it was before, but I'm pretty sure we're around the same level as we were before. We're going to start things off with my um, Geodude. I'm gonna, oops, sorry. Not the most. Gonna, you know what? We're just going to keep going. Um, let's go. Let's see what we got. First uh, Team Rocket member we're going to fight in this game. Hell, heck yeah. When some old coot yelled at me, he startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Ooh, that's not good. I'm just kidding, buddy. It's not good for you. <laughs> you made a bad choice. Here, let me. There you go. The color, every time they change scenes, the camera tends to change the color on this. So I have to tilt the Game Boy for a sec in order for it to get the color right. I realized that recently and so it's pretty nice for the videos so you can actually see a little bit better the color the actual color of the game rather than some darker blue oh my rock throw missed no that's unfortunate dude dude use rock throw missed twice in a row amazing right that use quick attack i do like the animation for quick attack it reminds me of like dragon ball z when they fight in the air boom rock throw there you go i like the animation for rock throw too tossing them rocks on his head and bouncing and bouncing dude dude gain 109 xp points Nice. Jude, dude, good to level 14. Amazing. Let's see. His defense is the highest stat. Nice. So that's what I'm saying. Jude, dude, is a rock. He's a defensive stat specialist. All right, let's go. Rocket Grunt's about to send Rad Tata. Will Renny please change Pokemon? Yes, I will. Let me pull out my, my Pidgey. Yeah, um, Popcorn Pop has been amazing. I'm so happy to have him on the team. It's been so much fun. And so, uh, luckily for me, uh, uh, the beginning of the game's pretty fast, so I was able to get through everything pretty quick today, and, and hopefully I don't have to do that again. I'm really hoping that the, it wasn't just the game, but we'll see. Um, 
if this ends up like re erasing the data i'm gonna be so sad from now on because it's a really fun game and i just wish that that wouldn't have happened could kind of just backtrack me quite a bit stop taking tails yeah just try to defeat a, all of us sorry i messed that up and it's a girl my bad my bad my bad let's see who we got who do we got we got rocket grunt lost the battle Rocket Grunt sent out Zubat. Oh, that's a bad Pokemon choice. I got the you, dude. You, dude. Use Rock Throw. Smash that little bat. Hit me with the Leech Life. That's gross. You nasty Zubat. Trying to steal my life away. Oh, yeah. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. We also do Pokemon unboxing videos as well. And these uh, Pokemon gameplay videos are just our side thing. It's kind of fun. I've really been enjoying it. If you're new to Pokemon as well, this is a great way to learn about Pokemon, and what their typings are, and all that amazing stuff. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit for you guys too, sorry. If in case you didn't hear it earlier. But the music is some one of the, the, the things that I really like about these games. And the artwork, of course. And just the fact that you get to adventure quite a bit and travel across the land. That's what like, I love about Pokemon. Kind of encourages their audience to really go out and travel and go on adventures as well as make friends along the journey it's one of the great things that pokemon does teach us which is i really love about this um, game um let's go let's see what we got oh yeah um like i was saying earlier sorry i got sidetracked there but once we get to 100 subscribers we will be doing a giveaway a pokemon giveaway every now and then um, in these videos either these ones or the uh, pokemon unboxing videos you will see that i will um put stuff in the giveaway box as well and then hopefully we get there sooner so sub to the channel please um as well as i'm gonna be opening some more shining fates here pretty soon some more battle styles all these fun packs to open i'm so excited um, i think after uh, this video i'm gonna go start ahead and recording some other videos um maybe not just a bunch of videos maybe a shining fates video thinking about opening the maybe you can see it right now i'm gonna switch it up real quick so you can see so in our background here let me see we have the shining fates box you can kind of see it there sorry i got this we're probably gonna open that here pretty soon but yeah um got our collection of pokeball tins here pretty nice nice little pickup but let's get back to this let's get back to this <clears throat> don't want to waste too much time with these videos so here we go um we got geodude defeating about to go up against another ratata okay here we go oh god zubat um yeah i'm gonna change it real quick i'm gonna go right with my popcorn pop oops oops sorry oh <laughs> well i canceled it's all right not too bad uh my popcorn pop no phone shock i love phone shock sorry you guys I like to have fun with thunder shock um but yeah, you know Sun Shock. I love Sun Shock. One of my favorite moves ever in the game is when he uses Sun Shock. Cause Sun Shock is just so zapping good, you know? <laughs> I just having fun here, you guys, sorry. But yeah, um I love this gameplay too. I love playing uh Pokemon the Game Boy. It brings me back, brings all that nostalgia for back for sure. And I think I'm starting to gain appreciation for some of the Gen 2 Pokemon a little bit more here now with this gameplay as well. Got another Zubat. Hmm. I think, oh, yeah, that's the one thing I still need to do now because because my game did restart. I might have to catch a Zubat again, but I don't think I'm going to catch a Zubat. I don't need it right now. I have a Pidgey. But the thing is, the Geodude is missing his Rock Throw. I wish he would know something was more secure. Like, even though it wouldn't do more damage, I wish it was something that was more accurate that he would know it was a Rock Move. That would be fun. Yeah, and I think on the I'll be doing some more side um, grinding here in the future to keep the videos a little bit shorter as well. And then what? Oh, this is the last guy I think. Okay, this is the last guy. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Oh, okay. You think I'm gonna give you mercy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You ain't gonna get no no mercy from me. Hold up, that's my color. See what I mean? I have to tilt it to get the color back. The camera's so funny. All right. Gee, dude, let's go. Hit him with another rock throw. 
Oh no, poison gas, no good. Our Jude is gonna be immediately poisoned. It's gonna be so annoying once we leave in the cave. But hopefully it can take out this coughing pretty quick. Ooh, no, okay, the poison. I'm afflicted by the poison. This, a, this coughing has some very venomous poison gas. Dude, use rock throw. Oh yeah, so I was gonna show you, uh, once we get to Golden Run City, it's gonna be really fun. The game picks up quite a bit after there, once you get to Golden Run City. Oh, it's so much fun. I really love this game too. Here we go, rock throw, one more time. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there we go, Judo's now level 15. Wow. He knows magnitude. Oh, that's a ground move. That's even better, too. So, definitely, Gear Dude's an amazing addition to the team. Really carrying us around here. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities underground. Now you have. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Uh oh. That's not good. But luckily, we. Are the protagonists and we will take care of them. Kurt, way to go, Randy Blaze. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, buddy. I like how we skip right through his house. All right, let's check what he has to say to us. Hi, Randy Blaze. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honored to make pulp balls for you, a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. I received a lure ball. Okay, let's see what this lure ball. Rare place, put the lure ball in the ball pocket. I make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. You have an apricorn for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. There we go. It'll take a day for me to make you a ball. I'll come back for it later. Okay. <clears throat> the slope of my dad gave me came back. Its tail is growing back too. Oh, that's sweet that their tails grow back. It's full of, uh, oh, some difficult books. Okay, let's see what. So I don't know how the time based events are going to work in this because I don't think, think that they're the best, but we'll see as we go along. Because I haven't seen nighttime once since I've played this game. So I think that the time based events might not be the best in this version of the game, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, I'm hoping that maybe they will, but we'll see as we go along. So now, we're going to have to fight the gym leader of this town. It'll be interesting to fight the gym leader. The gym leader is a bug type, so this should actually be really easy for us. Um, so, Pidgey's our weakest Pokemon at the moment. Quilla Judo's our strongest. Judo's 16, okay. So we're going to switch Pidgey. Pidgey's going to be number one because he's our weakest and then Jude is going to be our last Pokemon so we're going to switch the pop 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 and then we're going to put the egg behind the Jude. okay there we go looks a little bit more organized there okay I'm going to save you here because we just beat Slopo Cave and we're going to go right into fighting Bugsy for that to end off this video once we get the second gym badge I will save it and, and hopefully we'll be fine there after we beat the gym. And then I think I'm going to try to traverse my way over to Goldenrod City and make sure that everything is fine once I get there. And I think I also want to, as well as, just do that off camera because it might take a while with all the, the, um, the trails that they, with the route, having as many Pokemon trainers as it does. So I might do that off to the side and then show it off once I beat all the trainers there. That way... We can walk through there and you can see it all. Gotta get the color back. There we go. Twins Amy and May wants wants to battle. Twins Amy and May sent out Spinarak. Ooh, Spinarak looks blue in this game. That's cool. All right. Well, gonna give it a nice little gust. Super effective. That was it, I think. They only had one Pokemon. They have two. Ladybug. No, I'm not going to change Pokemon. Come on, Ladybug. What you got? Okay. I'm going to hit him with the Gust. All right. Nice. So, Pidgey is definitely doing good now. So, now he's going to hopefully... I'll just train him on 15 and then switch out with my... Um, what's it called? My Popcorn Pop. 
get it, get that Pokemon as well up to level 15. I love these gym bad fights so much. Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that this guy down here, if you saw him, um, that guy down there, he is a considered like the guide or like the aid. You talk to him in the beginning, and if you never played these games before, he gives you a little hint of how to beat the gym. So that's always nice if you never played before. It gives you a little hints of how to beat the, the the gym leader. So it was always nice to to talk to that guy when I first played. I think it was what's it called. Uh, red version when I played red version I remember that talking to that guy was really helpful during my adventure of getting all eight gym badges so here we're gonna get our second gym badge that's exciting I'm so excited to get to show that to you guys once we beat Bugsy Bugsy has some cool Pokemon too so that's why I really like battling him you guys are gonna be in for a treat when you see his Pokemon I thought he was one of, he's definitely one of the more underrated ones just because he is a bug type, but I like his style. His style is like his Pokemon, his, the choices in Pokemon that he chooses. Even though bug Pokemon tend to be weak, it's just the design that they went with with some of these Pokemon are so, so cool. Because I really like Loki, like Ladybug and Lee Dan. I was always a fan of Ladybugs when I was a little kid, I always catch them. Um, let's see. Um, we got some. I'm gonna train over there. Here, let me show you what this guy says real quick. Yo, Challenger. Bugsy's young, but his knowledge of bug Pokemon is for real. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. So there you go. Fire and flying types. And what do I have? A Quilava fire type. A Pidgey flying type. Okay, here we go. You saved all the slowpoke? Whew, you're mighty, but my Pokemon are pretty tough too. Bang, these little kids is fun too. Their lines are always hilarious. Let's see, not hilarious, but somewhat kind of funny. Bug trainer Josh sent out Paris. All right, Mr. Paris, you're gonna take it. You're gonna take this gust. My little small tornado. Very spinny and very deadly for the poor little Paris, the little fun guy. Not a fun guy though. <laughs> All right, he's like pretty lame, pretty lame Pokemon. We got Quick Attack. It turns into a bigger um, mushroom that just looks like a blind bigger mushroom. I'm like, what happened to your retinas, dog? When it turns into a blind mushroom, <clears throat> I guess that's what happens when you have too many mushrooms. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Okay. <clears throat> That's a bold statement there. But dragons is where the Pokemon take forever to evolve, and they're stronger than bug types. So what are you going to do about it, Mr. Benny? Send out Weedle. Oh, I can't wait to get a Dragonite in this game, too. That'd be nice. Here we go. Uh, let's hit him, with a, hit him with a quick attack. Hit him with a quick attack. Yeah, Mr. Pidgey. That's what's up. One hit. Nice. Our team's pretty overpowered, I think. Unfortunately for this guy. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to use another quick attack. Quick attack. Go. Pidgey, go. Hit him with a quick attack. Unharden. Okay. Well, your heart is not going to do anything to my gust. It's going to spin you around and throw you across the room. Bam. It's super effective. Pidgey gained 136 experience points. Nice. Alright, let's go. We got Beedrill. Alright. Switch Pokemon. Yes. Go. Quilava. Quilava's about to put in work after this fight. Which is, so that's why I didn't want him to, to go be over, over leveled here in a second. But he's going to get a lot of XP in this um, gym. I'm pretty sure. Once we get to fighting Bugsy, we're gonna fight Bugsy really quick. Ooh, and it missed. Nice. That's made. That's even better for us. Made this fight even faster. Nice. So we are gonna end the video a little over 20 minutes, but that'll be totally fine. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really appreciate you guys watching this. And please drop a like, a comment um, to 
support the channel as well as sharing it as well i would really appreciate that as much as possible and like i said before 100 subscribers we're doing giveaways so don't don't miss out on that ready players get 192 boom coins for winning all right here we go mr bugsy let's go let's see what you got for me i'm bugsy i never lose when it comes to bug pokemon my research is going to make me the authority of bug pokemon let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Ooh, gym battle music. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here, let me get that color just right. Okay. Leader Bugsy wants to battle. Leader Bugsy sent out Metapod. Mr. Metapod, this is gonna be easy work. All right, here, gonna give you a gust just to get you out of my way real quick. And then I'm gonna switch to Quilava to get, oh, I survived. That's unfortunate that you used Harden. You could use something else. Now, <laughs> you get my cousin laughing at the bear cow. So funny, he's so high excited. All right, uh, Pidgey gained 216 experience points. Nice. Pidgey grew level 16. Pidgey is a great addition to the team. I feel like I've, I've got a pretty solid team. I think I'm liking either water or grass type. Pokemon, so maybe we can get a TM to replace that, but we'll see as we go. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Let's go. So we got who did he say he's gonna send out? I wasn't even sure. Let's go. He sent out Kakuna. Okay, okay. Kakuna and Metapod. Probably not the best choices, sir. You're making this even easier. I'm sorry about what I said, but I'm pretty sure his last Pokemon is pretty pretty cool. I'm sure it's what it, I think it is. Yeah, okay. So Kakuna's out in one hit too. Wow. Quilava's definitely my strongest pokemon see this is what i mean he's got a scyther bro that's why i love it he's got a pretty cool scyther look at this oh i wish i had a scyther right now i think scyther's design is so cool and in this game you can you can get it to evolve into a scissor so scissor is pretty cool i think i might add him later on the team if i can be fortunate enough to get him he's a fury cutter here we go Goodbye, Scyther. Oh no, okay. One more one more one more hit. Let's go. Quilava. I believe in you. Let's go. Fish him off with the fiery ember. Bam! Super effective. Enemy Scyther fainted. Quilava gained 640 EXP points. Bam! Kulava girl, level 16, almost level 17. Wow, let's look at our stats. We have 28 attack, 29 defense. Our defense went up quite a bit from, I remember when we first, oh wait, this is it's a different um, Pokemon though too, so I'm not sure. But our special attack's 32 and our speed's pretty high, 35, nice. I don't know if it's fast, fast, but it's, it's good that it's our fast, our biggest stat, I guess. But we'll see how fast we actually are in the future when we fight faster Pokemon. Okay, you win. Take this badge. Ready Place got 1,600 Poke Coins for winning. Nice. Ready Place received the Hive badge. Nice. Very excited to see that. Do you know the benefits of Hive badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. Many players receive TM49. Many players put TM49 in the TM pocket. TM49 contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Bug Pokemon are deep. There are so many mysteries to be explored. Study your favorites thoroughly. That's true. That's true. All right, well, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna save it here. Oh, actually, no, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. So if you haven't played this before, you have to get, I think, cut right here. This is this is the guy, I think, um, Charcoal Claim. I heard one of the, the people in town tells you that this guy has the TM, I think. The Slowpoke have returned, but my apprentice hasn't come back from the Elix Forest. Where in the world is that lazy guy? Okay, so his assistant apparently might be in the Elix Forest. I'm gonna take a look at that, but I'm just gonna save it here. In the middle of town and we're gonna come back to part seven in the next one um ladies and gentlemen and fellow pokey people 
I really appreciate all of you. And we'll see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, you guys. I really appreciate everything you guys do. And drop that like, hit that like, drop a comment, and share my channel. Remember, 100 subscribers will be a giveaway. And as well, there's one more thing. Drop comments of nicknames of Pokemon or Pokemon I should be catching in the game. See you guys later. Bye.